the Grey Knights have come on behalf of the Holy Inquisition. You will fall! Strike them down with all your might! Hurt the beasts! Hello and welcome back to another exciting battle report. We are Tabletop Devils. I'm Adam. And I'm Paul. And today I'm going to be playing Grey Knights, but not as you know them. <laughs> Paul? I'll be playing the Craft World Elder. Yes. So let's go and see what we're bringing today. And as always, guys, please like and subscribe and leave some comments to help us grow our channel. We are getting there. We're over 700 subscribers now. Yes. So yeah, we're, we're doing our best. And try to get more armies painted. <laughs> yes. They're getting there. Yes. Hit that button. Okay, so starting off with the Grey Knights today. It is a different Grey Knight list. It is a battalion. I am starting off with the full 12 command points and it's 1,997 points. We are starting off with Castellan Crow as my warlord. <laughs> so he is, as he is, he's a special character. We can't really do much with him. I have given him Inner Fire as his psychic ability, so if he gets into combat, he can do a lot of mortal wounds on a bit, maybe kill himself at the same time. Uh, he's got a really overpowered sword. That if they, it's a sword that's so powerful, only very few people can wield it, and it's strength user AP 0 damage 1. <laughs> so, well done, Games Workshop. <laughs> he is accompanied today by a tech marine. Old standard tech marine, he's got the full harness. Um, I've given him the Aether Conduit as my relic, so he can heal 2d3 wounds onto a vehicle, if they stay alive. So we'll we'll, we'll try it. Uh, it. Might help the Dreadnought if it ever has to come into line of sight and maybe takes a shot. Mm -hmm. with, what was it, Astral Lane, Paul? That's the one. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, for powers, I've given him Empyrean Domination, just to give me a command point every turn. Hopefully he'll not be really getting too involved in the battle unless it gets desperate. For troops I have three strike squads, all just stone bolt around. Two squads have force swords, one has the force halberds. So just to fill out the troops choices really. I would like to take more, I just don't have them ready to be honest. I usually use terminators a lot more than... But this is a power armoured army. So you can see you quaking in your boots there. Yes. Uh, and for the elite, so I have a 10-man purifier squad. So they have the special uh, version of Smite, where they'll, it's half, it's only, what, three inches, and suffers D6 mortal wounds. Mm. So if they get into you, if they can stay yeah. alive, they've yeah. all got warding staves. Okay. So they're sitting on a, it gives them a 5 plus invulnerable if they don't have one, but adds plus one to their invulnerable in combat if they've... So nice. There's a few combinations going on there, because they've got stratagems and that to boost up their invulnerable, so... Hopefully they should be... Maybe not a match for your Wraith Blades, but... Might, might give them a challenge. I'm sure they will. <laughs> and they're supported by the almighty Venerable Dreadnought of Astral Lame. Yes. So he's got the Twin Laz Cannon and the Missile. I do like the multi mail and Power Fist option, mm -hmm. but the ability just to sit back out of line of sight and blast heavy weapons is it's just good. Yep. Especially in an army that generally struggles for heavy weapon. Yeah, if you saw him in the intro, you'll never see him again. <laughs> it's still he'll be behind <laughs> something. Unless there's a good camera work done, you'll find the Dreadnought. There should be a game. Anytime you find, see it, put it in the comments, I found the Dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on we've got fast attack and I have an 8 man interceptor squad I had to I nearly said intercessor there they try to confuse me um, I was 10 but I had to drop 2 out so I've only got 1 silencer in this unit the champion the Justicar has the uh, Falchions for extra attacks. The rest of the squad have warding staves as well, just for that invulnerable save in combat. And it has plus two strength in combat as well. It's only minus one AP, D3 damage, but the extra strength is always quite good. 
Uh, all the psychic powers are noted down below in the list, uh, but I have given them just as not sanctuary, just to maybe boost their invulnerable as well, because they're going to jump across the table at some point and hopefully just try and make them survive more than the turn that they usually do. Um, heavy support, I have three purgation squads, which I've fielded since eight. Well, I do like them. Uh, I've got two squads with silencers, one squad with side cannons. When you put it in with the tides and certain stratagems, they can get quite powerful. They are base strength for no AP, do three damage, six shots each for the silencer. But when you start up in that, you can you can drop knights as I found out before. So let's see what they can do. And along with those, we have a storm raven gunship. <laughs> one of one of the coolest flying bricks you'll ever see <laughs> in the game. I mean, it's, it's a certainly it's a big gun platform. It's a big gun. Two multi melters, two las cannons, two sky strike missile launchers, plus the two hurricane bolters. Mm. A lot of firepower. That doesn't have a lot of survivability. Mm. So I'm hoping we can try. I mean, you've got a lot of big weapons in this list. I can see that worries me a bit. Uh, but we can only do what we can do. And to finish it off, we have two Razorbacks, both with twin last cannon. They will be sitting near the dread, not just in case they need to astral aim something. <laughs> so it depends who gets the line of sight and who doesn't. We've got astral aim. I do have astral aim on all the purgation squads as well. Just it'll be who needs to shoot what that they can't see. It gives me it's redundancy really, because the Grey Knights, although they're all psychers, a lot of the powers are just done great on the units you can put them on. The characters are the best ones and I've not went, I've not gone character heavy with this list. So that is the list. I think it's the best Green Knight army ever to be fielded. I think Green Games Workshop <laughs> need to actually update us to being proper marines and if you believe so we're going to start a petition in the comment section. Write down Green Knights should be proper marines. We'll see how many votes we get. Games Workshop will have to listen. <laughs> we are marines. We are the best marines. We need to be represented. <laughs> okay? And what secondaries have you got? Oh, secondaries. Well, I, d I didn't think I needed to take them. I was just going to beat you out right. I'm taking Engage on All Fronts. Yep. I'm taking Deploy Scramblers, because I'm quite mobile. And I've taken Direct Assault, which is the mission specific. So three points for holding either the middle or the opponent's objective. Yes. Five points if you hold both. That's correct. I don't think it'll score me a lot in the game, but I think <laughs> it, it, plays for an, it, it makes you play a nice game. So it could cost me the game, but it'll be fun. Yep. So let's go see what the dirty craft worlders are bringing <laughs> today. Okay. Okay, guys, today I have Craft World Elder. I've got 2,000 points on the nose. I'm taking Ulthwee uh, for the six up Field of Pain across the whole line. And I've got two patrol detachments because we don't have enough troops to field no. a battalion at the moment. That so will change. We have quickly painted up uh, a unit, see if you can figure out which one it was. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Half we'll an just hour. <laughs> move on. Move on to the list now. Uh, for my warlord, I do have a far seer. And I have given him uh, Seer of the Shifting Vector as his warlord trait. And he does have psychic powers, but you know what? All the psychic powers are going to be in the list. Yes. Uh, for the next HQ option in the patrol, in the first patrol, is an Autark. Now he does have wings, so I've given him the relic, just so no one's confused. He does have a Falcho's wing. Despite having a, a, I think he's got a fusion gun on him, he's not obviously got that. Uh, he does have a Starglaive and Plasma Grenade. Exciting. Wow. Yes. Moving on to the troops option in the first patrol, I have 10 guardians, just standard guardians with uh, shuriken, cannon, uh, shuriken cannons, that'd be good, <laughs> shuriken catapults. In the elite options, I have five wraith blades and they have the ghost swords option. Standard wraith blades, nothing yeah. special. Oh, no, they're good, they're best. Uh, I also have five wraith guard with the wraith cannon option. Uh, as opposed to the D size, just because I think those cost more points than the race cards. Uh, in the fast attack slot, I have a Hornet that is equipped with the Hornet Pulse Lasers. And I also have a unit of five Warp Spiders, 
with an Exarch, and the Exarch has changed his really terrible ability, I think, I can't remember what it's called, Iron Resolve or something like that. Mm. And instead he has taken Web of Deceit from the Psychic Awakening book. And the Exarch does have the dual Death Spinner option with the, the uh, yeah, Power Blades. Power blades well, yeah. In the heavy support slot I have one Wraith Lord. Uh, he has two Shuriken Cannons on his shoulders and he also has two Flamers on his wrists. He also has the Ghost Glaive, because it's only 10 points. Yes. <laughs> uh, in the dedicated transport slot, I have one Wave Serpent that has the Twin Linked uh, Bright Lance. Or Twin Bright Lance, I should say, not yeah. Twin Linked. And it has the Shuriken Cannon uh, below. It doesn't have any other uh, benefits because it didn't have enough points. Moving on to the next patrol, it is led by a Farseer. And I should have said previously, sorry, all the Farseers have um, second spears, even if they have swords equipped. Uh, nothing special about, about this Farseer, it's just a generic Farseer. Glad you admitted it, it's nothing special about no, that. No, th th there is at the moment, I would say. <laughs> That's probably going to upset a lot of people. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the next HQ slot, I have a Spirit Seer. Uh, in the troop slot, we have five Dire Avengers, including one Exarch, and the Exarch has the two Avengers Shrieking Catapults instead of the one. In the Elite's option, I have five Wraith Blades, and this time they have Ghost Axes and Force Shields for the 4 plus and Vulnerable save. Cowards. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, they don't get many Invulnerable saves, unlike some armies. I have to pay for them. <laughs> Uh, and even then, they're not great. In the fast attack slot, again we have a Hornet, and again it's got two Pulse Lasers. I think one of them does have two Bright Lances equipped, but we, they've all got Hornet Pulse Lasers. So just ignore that. We have another Wraith Lord in the Heavy Support option. This time it has the two Shuriken Catapults on its wrists, two sh Shuriken Cannons on its shoulders, and the Ghost, ghost Glaive. Ghost Glaive. Ghost Glaive. Struggling to speak this morning. And finally, the last unit we have in the transport slot is a Wave Serpent, and it's the exact same loadout as the last one. And that is the list. What secondaries have you picked? Yes, secondaries I have taken Engage in All Front, because Eldar are reasonably mobile. Um, I've taken Grind Them Down, because Adam really doesn't have Never going to get that. That many for bringing it down. Never going to get that. He doesn't have that many characters. And we, we are the superior Grey Knights of One Wound. You're never going to kill us. Well, we'll see. <laughs> and I've taken the secondary, which is the mission specific one, Direct Assault as well. Because so we're going to big bash in the middle. Yes, and I don't yes. know if I mentioned it, but I only have 10 CP because the, the second patrol costs oh, me 2 CP. Patrol, yeah. Because we don't have enough for a battalion at the moment. But we will. Yes. We've missed a bit with the Elder a bit too much. That will be fixed very soon. Yes. Uh, no Wraith Knights today because... Put in some comments what yeah. craft world units you want to see, because we are updating those at the moment. We are. So, <laughs> good chance to get your favourite units on the table. Uh, yes, so... Are you ready to take your punishment, like the evil Xenos that you are? <laughs> yes, sure. This chaos-infested planet <laughs> that we've come down to, to try and fix, you've jumped in with your turnid infested creations, <laughs> that you can't even admit are abominations. Yeah, okay. There's only one true victor on this. You can see that the planet's warped and that the Eldar have been warped along with it. It's yes. just, that's what's happened. Prepare to die. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to it. Today we are playing Mission 32 from the Grand Tournament 2020 book. It is called Sweep and Clear. There are five objective markers on the table. The primary objective is to control one, control two, or control more of these objective markers than the opponent. Okay, we're back, and it's time for the first turn roll-off. Time for the Green Knights to... Stamp their dominance all over this battlefield. <laughs> okay then. Yeah. Let's see that not happen. 
Here we go. Six. Four. It's a reasonable four. It's a green eight six. Now, I used the blue dice last week and had them cried a lot. See? Here Told we go. you. Yellow dice are rubbish. So, you will go first. I will go first. We will be back in the Grey Knights turn one. Okay, we're back. It's turn one. It's the end of the movement and command phase for... Grey Knights. The Grey Knights. I've been, I've been getting abuse. Off-camera abuse. We're just, we're just making sure that we're following corrective comments from previous videos. <laughs> That's all. Anyway, let's, let's see what's happening. Yes, so the Storm Raven has boosted up the middle of the table, put some pressure on you. It is carrying the Purifiers and uh, Castellan Crow. Just, that was during the pawn they were put in there. Yep. The two rhinos here, one's got a purgation squad of side cannons, one's got a purgation squad of silencers. The Razorbacks. The Razorbacks, what, I say rhinos. Yeah, they, there we go. Pretty much the same. Moved, the Tech Marines moved up, so have the Strike Marines. Uh, I was getting abuse here as well, as being an illegal bit. Two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. <laughs> it's perfectly legal. Okay. But Paul, Paul was uh, questioning my... <laughs> questioning the distance. And, and there's <laughs> just... Can anyone see the... Can anyone see the dreadnought? You can't see him. It's a, there's, a, there's a special f fog over him. He's, he's, he's there. See him. He's not there. He's behind the building and he'll stay there for the entire Paul, game. Paul, Paul. He's not there. He's there. Anyway. Anyway, these ones have... This squad advanced through the building, got a five, so they've moved up quite nicely. And we've also teleported into the back here with the personal teleporters. Yes. Was it a mistake to not screen or was it part of my plan? It was part of your plan. Look at you've got me corralled in here now. But I'm just doing it as a way to try and make you deal with them. It doesn't take a lot to deal with them, that's the unfortunate thing. But I'm going to try and shoot this squad and charge your attack. That's the plan. Yes. So I'm nine inches away from the attack, but I'm within 12 for rapid firing as well. Hopefully they just get stuck there and they're like, oh, Okay, that didn't work. Yes, that's probably what's going to happen. But I'm taking full advantage of your farseers being in transports just now. Okay. Uh, I also have a U the purgation squad, second purgation squad with silencers, I put in the teleportarium. Okay. For one command point during deployment. Okay. So I'm starting on 12 at the moment because I've got one back at the start of turn in the command phase. Yes. So, you and want to concede the battle now? No, of course not. No, sure. Sorry. Okay. Not happening. All right. We'll go on to the Psychic Phase then. Okay, we're back in turn one Psychic Phase for the Grey Knights. And what's happening? Astral Aim. Yes. This boy. Dreadnought. Come on. Cast on a nine. Yep, I'm going to let that go. Not that I can deny anyway. Nope. And I'm also going to go with a Gate of Infinity on this squad. Okay. Just maybe try and bring them up to doing something. Oops, that's a, that's a fail. Okay, what uh, was it, double one? Uh, no, it's a one and a two. Oh, right. good. It's a four, but I'm not going to bother re-rolling that. I am going to go with Sanctuary on the squad that's jumped into the back there. Okay. So, uh, roll here so you can... Yes. Seven now. Hmm. 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 It's not a great roll. It's a pass, but it's not a great roll. What does it do? That's plus one to the invulnerable saves. Oh, I might dispel that one. I think you probably will try. And you going to keep it or re-roll? If I re-roll and don't cast it, it's a killer. No I'm going to re-roll it. I, need it, I need it to go. Double one. Oh, it's a ten now. That's, that's much ten. better. I'm down one command point. Okay, can they cast again? Uh, no, that's their only power they've got. And obviously the, the flyer can't cast. I've got one more to go with the Tech Marine. Well, let's risk it for the biscuit. I need an eleven, don't I? Yes. It's a seven. Oh. I thought I'd hold for suspense just to wind you up. <laughs> <laughs> so, they've got Sanctuary off. Okay. And I will go for Tech Marine, try and get a, a command point back. On a five. Cast on a ten. So that's an, I'm back up to twelve command points. Very good. So, that is the Psychic phase. That wasn't that painful for no, me. No, I've got a lot of duplicated spells, mainly just... Uh, the spite, one mortal wound here and there's not going to make a difference. Oh, I'm in Tide of Convergence, by the way. That's what I've we forgot to mention that. 
I don't have WAP shaping. I'm entitled to convergence for the whole game. Okay. So, uh, it was intentional because I'm bringing a lot of weaponry and I hope to be getting the benefit, so. Okay then, let's move on to the shooting phase. Okay, we're back and it's turn one shooting phase for the Grey Knights and the Storm Raven is going to unleash its payload. Yes. And we're putting the last cannons, multi melters, rockets into this wave serpent with the Wraith Guard in it. Yes. And the Hurricane Bolters into the Wraith Blades. Into the monstrous Wraith Blades. Yes. Okay. So we'll start off with the multi melters. Okay. So four shots hitting on threes. Okay. Three hits. Nice. Strength eight, so wounding on threes. Here we go again. Uh, I'm going to re-roll one now. So that's a command point away. Two get through. Okay. Is that minus? Minus, one minus four. Okay. You know I can't save that one. Nope. So that's d6 each. They're plus two for the range, but obviously minus one for wave serpents. So it's d6 plus one. Yes. For each one. <laughs> Six damage. Six damage, okay, we'll mark that up. Do you want to do the... Last cannons? Yes. Is there a better place for me to roll for you? Or... Yeah. Yes. Yes. One hit. <laughs> one wound. Minus yes. three, so you'll get a save on that one. I get a save. Oh, close. And it's a four, a five, a five. don't know, but... It's a five. It's a fail. So that damage is two. Very so good. Eight damage. Taking together. eight damage so far. Yes, we're going well, we're going well. And the rockets. So one and a five. Come on. Go to wound. It's a wound. And that is minus two or three. I can't remember. But I got a six. No. So we're all good. We're all good. So eight that's, damage. That's just ridiculous. Eight damage on the wave surface. <laughs> and the bolters into the... So 24 shots. Let me get those dice together and we'll be back. Okay. Okay. Adam's got his dice ready. Uh, what is it we're doing again? Uh, hurricane bolters and they're in rapid fire, so it's 24 dice. 24 shots from the Storm Raven. Yes, hitting on threes, wounding on fives. It looks okay. It looks not too bad. I think that's them all. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen hits. Nice. So we should, should expect six wounds, let's see what we get. Two, four, six, seven. Oops. Not to back. There we go. Seven wounds. Okay. No modifier. Nice. So it'll be threes, I think. Yes, it will be. Trying to find seven dice. Here we go. <laughs> not, not great. No, not good at all. Not good. How many damage each? Uh, one damage each. So one dead and so one So one wound. dies and one's got a wound. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and so far we have managed to forget the oath we save somehow. So we'll do the eight damage that the wave serpent took. Saving on sixes, and it takes two away. It's Great. pretty good. Great. And I believe five went through on yes. the wraith blades. And that stays how it is. Okay, I'll take that march up. Okay, we're back, and the dreadnought with Astral Lame. It's going to shoot. What was that, Paul? <laughs> Astral aim, sorry. Astral aim, thank you. It's yes. going to shoot, I don't know, through or over the building. Respect, respect. Into so, the damaged wave serpent. Yes. So let's try and do another three wounds or something here, if okay. we're lucky. Eh? So two good. last cannons, hitting on twos. Yes. They both hit. Wounding on threes. Oh, come One on. Wound. One wound, minus three. Minus three. Du, du, du. I'm getting really It's not the dice, it's just Paul. It's just... Just come on. Missile, crack missile. Hits and wounds, minus two. Minus two, need a five. Do, do, do. Fail. Okay, let that go. Yes. Right, d6 damage, minus one. Four more damage. Four damage, and this time we'll remember the off way, yes. see? Which doesn't help. Reroll the cock one. Oh, is it cock? It's not flat. You have to get used to it. Yeah. Do, do, do. Sorry, everyone, that's a four. So he does take four damage. Yeah, he's still alive, though. Yes. And the final shooting of the round yes. is the Razorback. And he's going to shoot the Wave Serpent that you can see. Yep, the one carrying the blade. The, what's it called? The, the, un the unwounded one. Yes. So two dice hitting on threes. Two hits. Yes. Wounding on threes. 
Of course, I've never had both of them on anything okay. great yet. So one six up. Yes. There's a fail. And the damage. Can't see a, that. It's a mighty three. So two damage. Two damage. Off the way. Takes two. Okay. What a successful round of shooting. And before we forget, there is actually one more unit to shoot. Yes. The one who is surrounded. Yes. So I'm going to put all the bolters into the guardians. Okay. And the silencer is going for the three wound uh, wave serpent. Okay. I'm going to put the four up and vulnerable save on the guardians. Okay. Or one CP. Right. I think it's one CP. Celestial shield. Yes. Okay. So shooting with the side cannon first. So I'll be hitting on fours because it's a heavy weapon. Whoa, three hits. That's plus average, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, strength five at the moment because we are in tide of convergence, but still five's to wound. Hey, nothing. Hey. And the bolters. We'll just get the dice together for those because it's quite a lot. Okay. Okay, we're back with 26 shots into the guardians. Yep, hitting on threes and wounding on threes. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of dice. And I think that's all. Yep, that looks good. And threes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Okay, let me just see if I can get eighteen dice and I'll roll them at once. <laughs> okay, eighteen saves on the guardians. Here we go. Eden fours. It looks good. It's <laughs> pretty average. Looks okay. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they die. They die. They die. Never Goodbye, mind. Bye, guardians. It was worth a shot. We're back. It's turn one. It's the charge phase, and there's only one. Yes. And it, there. <laughs> it will be getting re-rolled if I fail. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So into the autark. Into the autark. Oh, the autark through the building. Where did you think I was going? I don't know. All right. Not through the building, nine inches here. It doesn't matter, you can go through the building anyway. Yeah, but, so here. Just, it's going to be a 12 and that makes it easy. Oh, 10 will do. 10 will do. We'll move those in and get to the combat phase. Oh dear. Okay, we're back. It's a fight phase and the Grey Knights are going to slaughter the Autark. We're going to try, certainly. I'm going to just the Justicar first with these falchions. Okay. So hang on threes. Ah <laughs> 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 uh, dear, we're on a three. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Maybe he's blessed, this Autark. Yes, and the, the side cannon, because he's got nothing. Oh, of course he, of course he hits. And he wounds once, no modifiers. Okay. Yeah, that'll be a save. <laughs> that will be a save. And the uh, warding staves. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos, because they're strength six. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. Two, four, six, eight wounds at minus one. Okay. So I'm vulnerable and armour are the same. Just trying to get eight dice from the pocket. Da -da -da -da. He fails. Four. Four. So is four, he dead? Four D3 damage. He will be dead. I think he's dead anyway, but yeah, go for it. Probably got five wounds, he's an elder. He's dead. Four. <laughs> Not by much. Six. He's Goodbye, dead. Bye, Autark. Okay, that's the end of the turn for the Grey Knights. Yes. So I... Did deploy scramblers back here, so I've deployed them, deployed them, out, deployed them in my own uh, deployment zone. Yes. And I am engaged on all fronts. You are. So I've got uh, three points for that. Okay. So I deployed my first scrambler, I've got three points. As we were saying, we could have charged here and taken this objective. It would have been more. a long charge. Well, I would have set so it was nine. Yeah. But it was more important to actually. Because they're not going to survive a turn, I don't believe, because <laughs> there's too much here. So it was more important I just got rid of some of your assets rather than just grab a few points at the beginning. So mm -hmm. that was my thoughts. I, I, if I lose by five points, we know I was horribly wrong. Yeah. But that was what I did. Okay. Cool. So on to Craft World Turn 1. Okay. Okay, so we're back to this chaos infested planet that the craft world Xenos are trying to save for some reason <laughs> and here is the diabolical Farseer himself yes so what have you done yeah so we've paid 2cp for what's the one 
something retreat. F feigned retreat. Feigned retreat. So Running away, we call it. This hornet here has come yeah. out and he's going to be able to shoot. Yes. Uh, the other one has fallen back onto the objective. Yes. Uh, the wraith uh, knight, the wraith knight, the wraith uh, nice lord knight. has pushed forward because they've got a really low move anyway. Yeah. So now the, the fight's been brought to them. Yep. Uh, the wraith, so that keeps in the wraith, the um, wounded wave serpent wave has fallen back. There, yep. So he's on the, he's not falling back, he's just moved backwards onto the point and he's going to have some shots probably at the storm raven. Yeah. The other wave serpent has moved over the pipes. Yeah, just, right just moving all on the table really. It wasn't, he couldn't, he couldn't get past the uh, storm raven's base, so yeah. he's had to move that direction. Everyone's got out apart from the wraith blades who are still in the the, the less wounded wave serpent. Yeah. The giveaway is this one has a sword painted in blue. Yes. Right on the side there. So they've stayed in there just now because there's not really anyone for them to, to get close to. Uh, <laughs> the Wraith Guard here are all out. They're going to take a shot probably at the Storm, the storm Raven. As is the Far Seers. They've both got out. Yeah. Uh, what else has happened? The Wraith the, Blades, wraith blades have moved, moved forward. Yeah. It's a really long charge, but... It's a charge. It's, it's a charge. It's, it's a re-rollable charge. Yes, but Xenos will take any chance they can get. Dire Avengers have moved up onto this point over here. So at the moment we're on three objectives. Yes. Uh, we're going to try and get the one in the middle. Yeah. That's that's the, that's the aim of this You've turn. got a lot of power. Is that you ready to go into the psychic phase? Sure am. Okay. Let's see what puny powers of the warp you can bring now. Time for the psychic might of the Grey Knights to show these filthy... Little chaos worshipping craft worlders, what's going on here? Wow. Okay. That's what we think. Okay. Let's say uh, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I was. I was going to start with doom, but I'm going to start with protect actually. Protect. From the, the spirits here, into the wounded. Fortune. No protect. No protect. Jinx as a farce here, as a warlock. He's got it. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I thought he was, I was back. I thought he was saying Farseer. He's talking Spirits here. Spirits here is Spirits. casting Protect on yes. the Wounded uh, Wraith Blades. Right, okay. So that will go off on a 7. It will go off on a 10. A 10? Uh, I'll let you go with that. I'm not going to... Cool, so they're plus 1. To saves. To save. Okay, he can only cast 1. So we're moving on to the Doom. Yes. And that is from the Yellow Farseer. Okay. Uh, and he's going to be Dooming the Storm Raven. Oh, no. Uh, so that's a seven. That will be a pass. Seven? You going with that? Do I get to reroll one or both? What is the wording on that? Let's just check. I think all rerolls now, you must reroll everything. Let's see. You may reroll any number of dice. Yeah, but is that. We'll go back, we just need to double check because the, the ninth edition rules reworded rerolls. Here's Paul. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so well, we're having a little discussion. We checked the rules. It says you have to reroll both if you're rerolling, but. The Codex Warden says reroll any number of dice. Yeah, so it's a special item. We're going with the item. So there was a six and a one. I'm going to reroll the one, yes. obviously. Write it's in the comments if we're wrong. And it's a three. It's a three, so you cast it on a nine. It's on a nine. And that's to doom. That's to doom. I've got four dispels in range, so I'm going to use one. Of course. And it was all for nothing. <laughs> it was all for nothing, guys. Psychic mastery. There we go. Brilliant. Anyway, moving on. Can I get my dice back? I'll come around for them. All right. Okay. Thank you. And he's going to cast Fortune. Yes. The same first year is going to cast Fortune on the Wounded Wraith Blades. Right. Yeah, that is a 7. And that will be a 10. 10? Okay, well, again, I've got, well, yeah, you've only got 4 casts, I've got 4 denies, so. Nope, failed. Very good. Moving on to the blue first here. Yes. First he's going to cast Smite. Uh, okay, we'll leave that. Eight. Eight, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Green Knight, <laughs> nothing Master I can do. the Warp. He's also got Executioner, which isn't great against the vehicle, but well, it is a spell. He's, he's rolled them away behind the building, people, just to realize. It's an eight again. It's an eight again. Let's try it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> what can I do? Yeah, not I got I, I got the buffs off, but I didn't get the damage off. No. So. so. Is That's that it. the end of the psychics? That is the end of the psychics. Okay, let's go and have just a successful shooting phase, hopefully. Okay, so back to Ulthwe. What are we trying now, Paul? We are shooting with the Wraith Guard into the Storm Raven. 
Okay, minus one to hit for supersonic. Yes, and the spirit's here's nearby, so we'll be re-rolling one. Yes, he has in range. So I just need to roll like I did last week, and it will die. Yeah. Like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's well above average. Uh, and we did get Doom off, so what are we wounding on? We'll be wounding on threes, re-rolling Did three. you get Doom off? Yeah. Oh, okay, what are you offering? I think I did. I probably did, I can't remember now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Four. So four D6 damage. Four D6 damage. How many wounds has it got? Uh, a lot. Four, 14, I think. There we go. Four sixes. Oh yeah, he's dead. Wow. And I'm just going to check because <laughs> I think I can auto explode. I'll be back. Oh now. dear. Okay, so vengeance of the machine spirit. And we're <laughs> going to auto explode. So let's do that. Then we'll get the guys out from inside. So day three, mortal wounds to everybody within six. So we'll start with this wave serpent. And I'll roll over here. It takes one mortal wound. Oh, we're off to a great start. Oh, yes, you get to ignore the field. He takes it. So the spirit's here. Takes two. Okay. He takes one. Do you want to start marking them up before we forget? Or? Uh, yeah, we'll just use these just now. Where is the spirit's here? I can't just see them. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that other wave serpent's in six. We'll have to check that in a minute. It's, it's close. <coughs> uh, the farce here, the yellow one. Oh, takes three. Okay, he ignores mortals on... Uh, fives, I think. With the, the helm up, oh, right behind the... F oh, come on. Takes one anyway. Yeah, very good. And uh, Wraith Guard. Two. Okay. Nope. Two. And the other first here. Takes one. <laughs> yes, takes one. And just, I don't know if that's six inches there or not, Paul, you'll have to okay, just get check measuring that. tape out and we'll watch Paul's measurement Let's here. Let's see. say that's about eight or Yeah, something. he's in six. Yeah, the the pointy go. part's in. <laughs> One. That was, that's been a very unlucky um, yeah, well, that's, explosion. And you've been very lucky on saving most of them again, so. Uh, I'll now roll 11 dice. Here comes the one. Eight, six, nine, oh, absolutely guaranteed. Half the unit. <laughs> I'll lose. I'll, I'll drop the dice after you roll one of these. And so far, none. Oh. And oh. None. Yay! So I'll just get those out and we'll continue with the shooting phase. Yeah. So, back with the Dire Avengers that are behind the building here. Yep. Just, yeah. just had enough wound markers to do all that. Yeah, <laughs> you just got all the wound markers put up. So we're now shooting the Dire Avengers at the Strike Squad. Yep, so all but one of them can see. Yes. So here we go. Hitting on threes. And then wounded on... That's pretty bad. And then wounded on fours. Fours, sixes are good. Fours, yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. That was very good. Oh, very good. Yeah, good, good going, Dire Avengers. Very you know good. what we're doing next? Yeah, we may as well just fire these two in here. So we're going with... Uh, that's four shots. Hitting on threes. And then and we'll be, seven, so threes. Yeah. Minus, minus two. two. Five marks. One That's a five and a one. I've got it. So let's take the one. I'll get it in a minute. Let's okay. see what else is happening. Okay. I don't yeah. know what's I don't know what's happening yet. Right, we'll have a look. So we're starting with this fully operational wave serpent, as yes. the Emperor would say. Yes. Different different galaxy, but this fully operational wave serpent. <laughs> right, so what's yes. it doing? He's going to put his uh, shuriken cannon into these guys. Into these guys? Okay. And, and the back yet can, can just see that Razorback. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting shot. So It's a two bright lines. This one here you're saying? Yes. So he's not shooting the Dreadnought? Oh sorry, yes he is, sorry. We just spoke about this. You did? Then you've changed your mind, so he's shooting the Dreadnought because he can't see the bum of the yeah, Dreadnought. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. We're going um, two bright lances into this Dreadnought, just line of sight. Okay. And then the shuriken cannon into the guys. Somebody can spot the Dreadnought. I am using untainted and unbowed on the the purifiers there mm -hmm. so till the end of the turn they have a four plus invulnerable okay that's one command point okay we'll do the shark and cannon first then so hitting on threes yay it's uh, yellow dice paul yeah i was go i was going to say i can reroll one but i can yay. yay very good yeah let's hope the bright lances are a bit better than that all oh, right, right one hit right um three to wind the red not you rerolling yes Ooh. Oh, two hits. One wound. One wound. Minus four, I can't save that. Okay. Damage. Damage. Four. Four. So, take four fuel no pains for a venerable gentleman. So, he takes four wounds. Very good. 
Okay, what's next? We'll quickly do the next one, which is the wounded one. Yes. It's on the bottom bottom bracket. So it's the exact same, except the brake lances are going into the Razorback. The Razorback, okay. So we'll do the brake lances first. Right. Two misses. Yes. Unsurprising. And then the Shuriken Cannon. Two hits. So you're on threes. Hey, two wins. Two wins. Three up saves. <laughs> Make one. Well done, well done. And for that, we lose a whole Marine because they're just so good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so. We may as well do the singing spears while we're oh, here. All right, two singing spears. There's spink two here. Yes. So, so we'll roll them together? Or? Just do them together, yeah. Difference. Hit on Stop twos. Stop behind the building. Apologies. Roll them. Hit on twos, sorry. Wounding on twos? And wounding on twos. That's one. one wound. And one three up save. Oh, sorry. Very good. Dice it. Four. Uh, I suppose we could do the Spirit Sears pistol. Uh, again, behind the building. That's behind yep. the measuring tape. And that will be, I think it'll be a win, a four. A four, yes, it would be. And I'll make my three up save. You yes. will. You will make it. I will make it. I was, I'm telling you, for Grey Knights, we just will what we want into, into reality. Yeah. So, just deal with it. Okay. Uh, let's do some different things now. Okay, different things. We're going to shoot this guy. All right. He's two sh uh, shuriken cannons. Into those? Cannons, into those guys. Right. And his wrist-mounted catapults into those guys. Right, okay. Do the catapults first. And that is all hits, I think. Right. And, uh, Three wounds. Yeah, two at minus a lot. Yeah, well, two at minus a lot will be a five plus and vulnerable from Sanctuary. Yes. Okay. One saves. And one not. And one. Yep. Very good. So one dies. And then and the I'll cannons backwards into the other unit. Yes. He will be rerolling ones because of the spirits here. So that will be four hits. Yes, three through. And it's a nice three one wounds. there. That's four plus. Well, yeah. two three pluses and a four plus. Yeah. Three pluses and yeah. a four plus. Yeah. It must be the blue dice. Well, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Your Wraith Guard just one shot at a, a Storm Raven. They never do for me, but. Continuing over here. Yep. Um, he's going to put all his guns in here. Yes. Because he doesn't. Yep. He doesn't have line of sight on those guys. Okay. Uh, so he's got two flamers for seven shots. Seven hits even. Oh, that was useful. <laughs> uh, there'll be a window on what? Fours. Fours. Ouch. Okay. So that'll be five saves so far. Five saves. Okay, get the get our dice out of the pocket. Uh, three up. Yay. Two die. Two more away. And then there's two shark and cannons. All but one. Yeah. So uh, two and one. Yeah. No, threes don't do it. Or shark and cannon, is it? Yeah. Oh, the cannon, yeah. So three normal saves. The dice are sticking to my hand there. So two more die. Yeah. One roll. Yay. So three more die. Oh, I think they're dead. Yeah, well. At some point. We knew they were dying, but if I've managed to take your two Wraith Lords out of the battle so far, I'll be quite happy. Uh, so is that it? Have you got... I think that is a shooting. Just let me... Yes, I can't see anything else you've missed. No, I think that's it. He's looking, he's looking, he's desperate. He's trying to no, anything he can. No, that's it. That's it. Okay, so we'll be back in the charge phase. Okay, so we're back with the charge phase and Paul's made a boo-boo. Yeah, I, for I forgot. While the... Altart Alter was on the table for all the two minutes that he was in the game. <laughs> I used a CP and I'm not. He's got Path of Command special abilities on a, on a, a six. You would have gotten a you would I get have it back. Command back. So, yeah. yeah. That's it. Everything stays the same. So, where are we going with charges? Uh, okay, the Wave Serpent is going to charge these guys. Okay. You have to do your Overwatch first if you wish. Uh, yes, that's a command point away. Okay. So, that's five Storm Bolters. So that'll be 20 shots. Okay. Uh, five, ten, there's 20 there. <laughs> I'll try and get these in my hand now. Right, I'm just going to roll these ones and pick up the four that have run away. So how many sixes? Mm -hmm. Three. Yeah, they're all done. And here's the other ones. Five. Four, five. So wounding on fives. Three wounds. Mm -hmm. From that lot. Minus. Uh, no minus on, uh, no minus on that, no. Okay, I'll roll over here. That's one fail. One fail, and four flamers. Four, four incinerators, I should say. Okay. So, 13. 
Uh, just let me grab, I've got another bunch of dice here actually. And look at that nice table, there we go, 13. <laughs> so strength 6, so it doesn't make any difference. And so 5 to wound. I don't expect this to do much, but any wounds I get off you will be better for next turn. 4. 4 wounds okay. at minus 1. Before we go, how many damage was the first one? Just one each. Okay. So does he angle it? No. How many saves now? Four. Okay, four saves. Fails two. Fails two. I'll just double check it's not minus two after this, but roll those first. I think it's only minus one. Uh, okay, he takes one damage. Takes one damage. So two in total. And that's it, unless we come back to correct it. Okay. And what's your charge? Charge, I think I need an eight or a nine. Okay. I'll roll here. A Eleven will do Eleven will do it. Okay. I'll move him in and then we'll do the rest of the charges. Okay. Okay, so that wave serpent has moved in, and mm -hmm. we're now on to the Wraith Blades. Yes. So where are you rolling? I'm going to charge the Razorback. Yes. And I'm just going to charge him. Just going to just go in? Just an auto charge. Auto charge. Ugh. Oh. Got to re-roll. Oh, he's going with the re-roll. It's the same. It's the same. No, no, no. It's the same, and I wasted the same It's thing. a no, no, no. Okay. If everybody else just rolls double ones now, I'll be very happy. Yeah. Moving to the middle. Yes, this big. We'll start with the spirits here. Spirits here? We're going to roll and then measure because anything that's big is fine. You stop oh. rolling so far through that building. Look at this, people. Look at right, this. Right, I'm going to move the wave serpent. Yes. It is. He it's made it. He yes. made it. That building. We need to set up the table differently next time. Okay, so that spirit seer has now gone in. And who's yes. Next? We'll move swiftly on to the next warlord and he can remember to take this with him. Yeah, take your wounds with you. Okay, that'll do right, it. He's in. Whee! No sound effects, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an elf. <laughs> Wee! Yeah, pointing the earth. Er, oh, elf. Yeah. Okay, we'll do the first here next. Right. Wee! Mm. He's in. I mean, I think he's in. <laughs> yeah, if he's, he'll get close yeah, yeah. And then they need the a bigger number. Guard. The wraith guard. There should be. Let's just, oh, easy. I think he's definitely easy. yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. So. Just try and. Uh, I'll move these in. You've got two auto charges here with your Wraith Lords. Not going to make you roll for those. Yep, okay. Is there anything else? I'm just trying to remember whose wounds are whose. As I'm moving these in. Yeah, all your psychers have taken one wound and you've got a Wraith yes. guard with one wound left. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, that's it. Two auto so, charges. Yay, yeah, just yeah, move yeah, them in. Yeah, and we'll be back so, in the fight phase. Right, we're starting off with this mass combat in the middle. Yes. And Paul's activating his Wraithguard. I'm going to use them first, and just because... we have gone full transhuman yeah. on this one. We need to try and stay alive somehow. Okay. So... So, punching you on threes and re-rolling ones because of the spirits here. There's a one. Okay. Yes. Four Wounding on fours. Wounding on fours, and that is four. Come on. Four. Minus one. Feel the pain. Four ups either way. Feel the pain. Uh, actually, it's three ups. Because the four up and vulnerable from a stratagem, and I've got boarding saves. Takes me to oh, plus one okay. vulnerable. That change, okay, yeah. That's, <laughs> what, that's what you get. That's what you get. Every time I try this, it never seems to work for some reason. That's what you get. Let me pull him as well. Okay, you've got a close up of rubbish dice there. Okay, and are you going to interrupt? Uh, no. You're not? You can chop, cast on, crow apart all you want. Okay, well, consolid well pile in here. Pile in here, yep. The Farseer has, was it two attacks? A mighty two? Yeah, something like that. Let me just very quickly check. The Spirits here has a mighty two. And the Fars here, I can never find because their book's set up really weird. Okay, we'll just do this live as Paul flicks through every page in the book. Yes. Another Apologies, it is two attacks, I was yes. right. So it's twos hitting on twos. Yes, wounded on fours. Yeah, wounded on fours, and there's one. One. So we've got a normal, it's a four up, because I'm not using the staves on that one. Very good, and we'll just activate the next Fars here, who's going to be fighting, is that the character? Yes, that's Castellan Crow. So he's got two, atta two attacks, one missing hits, one. Wounded a two. Yeah, as always. Castellan Crow makes a save. And then the Spirits here. He's doing the same thing, is he? He's going to have to. Okay. He does hit. Two oh, hits. does he? He is, he's twos to hit. Is he twos? We'll yep. check that, but I think. Definitely twos. Okay, that'll be two. Two wins. Castellan Crow. If uh, one gets through. Okay, I think he's... Two damage. He has two damage. Flat yes. two, I think. Yes. So I take two damage here. Is Wave Serpent. Wave Serpent. Wave Serpent. For what it is. What's his wounds? Uh, eight. So he's got three attacks. Hit on sixes, of course. 
and that'll be a wound. That will be a on wound. On the troops unit, sorry. Yep, take a 3 plus save on a flamer. No. Okay. Okay, so that's all that done, and just over here with the Wraith Lords. Yeah, just let me check the stats and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so we're going with the Wraith Lords here. Yep. I do have a 4 plus in combat here, so Paul's starting to worry now. Yep. Because we've got Sanctuary off and we've got our Warding Staves. Here we go. So we'll start with this one. Yes. Hitting on threes. Two hits. And winning on twos. Two wins. Four ups. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Why did I bother with the Warden <laughs> Stave option? Right, okay. Moving swiftly on. So it's just me to fight back now. Yes. So let me just get some dice here. I've got two staves left in that unit. And we've got two attacks each because we're so powerful as Marines. And I'll put them into your Wraith Guard. I need to try and get those down. Mm -hmm. So, hitting on threes. We are strength six, so wounding on fours. Two wounds at minus one. Not threes. No, you're toughness six. So I am. Okay, how many was that, sorry? Two at minus one. Oh, where are you going? Over here. <sighs> right, okay. <laughs> and the four, just normal attacks. So they all hit, they're wounding on fives. One normal save. On? The wraith, wraith guard again. Yeah. The dog was on the wraith guard. And he makes that as well. Just going to zoom in a bit there. Just to, yeah, look at that. Yep. <laughs> and Castellan Crow, with his six attacks, because you charged him, is going to attack your Warlord first here. The yellow one. Yes, just because he can. So, let's get the dice ready. So, hitting on twos. All hit. Uh, wounding on threes. I get to re-roll all these, by the way. Just as well. Just because I'm Crow. Still missing two, but because I've got four wounds, I get four more attacks. <laughs> they just have to wound you, they don't have to actually be unsaved wounds. So, three more hits. I get to reroll that one. So, two, four, seven wounds onto your four plus save. Just die, just die. You die. Yeah, that's that's many. Two. Yes, five. So, goodbye, Farseer. That's what you get for damage. It. Oh, come on, no, don't you dare. Don't How many it. damage? Just one damage each with his massive, powerful sword. No. No, he's dead. He's gone. So that's a little something. Yes. And is there anything else? So this one died. That one died. Okay, so that's the end of the fight phase. We will go and summarise this turn. Okay, so after that fully disappointing and unacceptable turn from Crawford the Elder, uh, let's go speak to the mastermind behind it all and see what he thinks. Yeah, it would have been great if the... Charge for the Wraith Blades over there got off, but never mind. I don't think, you would have just killed a Razorback. But it would have, it would have helped a wee bit. Yeah. I would have got, uh, yeah, well. You got, got, you got engaged on... I would have got across the table. Yeah, you got engaged on, for two points, because you've got three table quarters at the moment. Yes, and I got... So you uh, have got the... Three points for the centre. What's that called again? The secondary objective. Yeah, what's it called? It's called Direct Assault. Direct Assault. You're holding that because you have More. eight figures to my seven. Yes. So, if I just rolled a little better then. So the score is currently five points for the Eldar, three points for Grey Knights. But the Grey Knights are just about to win this game and round it all off, so. <laughs> Probably, most likely, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, I doubt it, but let's hope. And uh, let's see what turn two brings. Yeah. Grey Knights, turn two, end of game coming up. <laughs> Okay, we're back in turn two for the Grey Knights. Yes, Masters of the Universe. The man. Right. And so we have disembarked from the Rhino here with both purgation squads. We're going to come up here and slap them silly. <laughs> so the Razorbacks then moved across, taking Marine in the middle, making sure they're both trained properly on targets. Strike squad has walked around the side here. And they're going to attempt in the charge phase to go in and halberd this thing to death. All right, the wave serpent, is it? Yeah. Yeah. End of movement phase, we brought down another purgation squad into the back corner, try and give those wraith lords another reason to walk away from the battle in the middle. <laughs> and we've moved up here to engage the Dire Avengers. Yeah, the Dire Avengers are behind the building, guys. Yeah. And we've... I just reshuffled these guys a bit again. <coughs> I know there's warp spiders coming. I can't shut them out, but I can try and keep them at arm's length at certain places. 
And you got a CP back at the start of I've the turn. I've got a CP back at the start of the turn, so I'm on to six at the moment. Okay, shall and we now move? it's time to master you in the psychic phase. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Okay, it's turn two, and we're back in the psychic phase for the Grey Knights. And this unit is going to cast... Yep, straight squad is going to cast Gate of Infinity on the Razorback. Okay, interesting. I'm going to send it whirling across the void. A teleport attack. Yes. On a nine. Does Plus one. Plus one, ten. Okay. Uh, I will try and deny. No! I will try and deny. Fail. With the Farseer. Ten. Hmm. I can't see under the building, unfortunately. So six and a four. Oh, Okay. I'll re-roll using this helm. Yeah, that no. sounds very good. Okay, so I'll just... That's coming over to here to help some firepower on this side. Zoom! Zoom! Pop up! Next, we're going to try and get a command point back with the Tech Marine. Okay. Cast on a six. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to try and deny that one. Okay, so up to seven command points. Your first mistake, sir. What next? Do you know? Uh, yes. I'm going to put Astrolame on the Dreadnought just in case I need to shoot something that you can't see. Okay. That's cast on a seven. Who's casting? The Dreadnought. Okay, I'll try and deny him then. With a Farseer's second deny and that will be a fail. Yes. you just got to accept that you are inferior in every way. And you, the sooner you learn that lesson, the better. Okay? I can't agree with that. Yeah, you have to agree with that, because it's just fact. I can't agree with that. The Eldar fans will kill me. <laughs> uh, so next, I'm going to... I'm tempted to ask to leave one of these just in case. I can't. I just did you it. just did that. <laughs> cheat, cheat, You've cheat, got cheat, smites at your cheat, cheat. disposal. Yes, I have. I'm going to go with Inner Fire first, though. Okay. From Crow. Kill him. Kill yourself, please. Come on. It's more than possible. Oh. Why do we keep doing that? I know. It's casting on eight. Well, I have the Farseer there who's not dispelled anything yet, so... We shall try, yes. and we shall succeed! That saved me from killing myself, at least, maybe. I have one, one deny on him <laughs> remaining. <laughs> yes. I'm going to come with a... a spite from these ones. Okay. And it will... be into your... Oh, I was tempted to go for the big ones, but... No, I'll go for the Wraith Guard. Okay. Oh, How? I'll try not to. How? It is a pass it on a six. It is a pass on a six, but... We'll use the, the spirits here. Wait, 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 wait. I might re-roll that. Oh, he's going to re-roll. Yes, I am. So I've done six command points. He's here. back to six. Seven. <laughs> we'll use the spirits here. And it's deny yes. on a ten. Yes, yeah. all, my, all my extra mortal wound capability flies out the window. Oh, yes, those superior grey knights as well. I'll we'll just wait till we hit you. <laughs> And, well, in that case, it'll just be a few more smites to go off here, there, and everywhere. Where's it most important? You can get one off there. So we'll start... That's not that important. We'll start here with these two okay. squads. Okay. I do have one deny so remaining. This is my second smite. Okay. And a double one. That will be a peril. Yes. And you so have re-rolled already. Yes. And then I'll lose three. So that's, that's pretty good for me. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It's... <laughs> These superior psychic beings trying to cast the most basic spell. Yeah, we pay so many points for it as well, it's just so worth it. And I'll try to smite the front squad. Oh dear. Yes. That was a three, everyone, in case yes. you missed it. Yes. We're just ignoring it. I'm not going to cast it anymore because I'm just going to kill myself. That's it, done. Okay, let's move on to the shooting phase. Okay, we're back. It's turn two shooting for the Grey Knights. And yes. this tank that just teleported is going to unleash its firepower on the Hornet. Yes, so two last cannons. This could hurt. Two hits. It will hurt. Three to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm re-rolling already. That's it. Two wounds. Minus okay. three. Minus three. I believe that'll be sixes. I did save one. <laughs> I did save one. How many damage will that be? D6, come on. How does it keep going under? How? tank got a magnet on it or something. It's a five, though. It's a five. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, I will ignore on sixes. 
Uh, I do get one six there, so he takes four damage. Oh well, okay. Okay. Yeah, not really, but that's what it is. So. Okay. And the dreadnought is going to have to try and finish him. The dreadnought over here. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put two last cannons into him, <coughs> and the crack missile into that. Because he did get astral aim as yes. well. Yes. So twin last cannon hitting on twos. Two hits. Mm -hmm. Oops, oops, oops. Threes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> missile launcher hitting this one. Hits. Wounds. Minus two. Minus two. Do, do, do. That's a fail. You let it go. Um, buh, 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 buh. Let's re-roll that. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Adam's just writing the command points and also a swear word on my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the game was going okay it was quite a nice game it is um, a nice game I've done nothing in the psychic phase I'm going to do nothing in the shooting phase now I did nothing in the psychic phase I don't start you one, shot, you one shot the storm raven with rubbish troops that was a shooting phase yeah but it was still stupid anyway you've got his last cannons to go on the hornet no, no I rolled two twos to wound oh that. sorry yeah thanks for reminding me <laughs> here two yeah. last cannons Onto the wave serpent again. Oh dear. I don't oh. want to do it. Oh, okay. But two hits. Yeah. Two wounds. Oh, of course that does it. So two saves for you. Minus three. You're dead. Do you well, blow? Am I dead though? You've only got two wounds, I can't. I do have saves to make. Oh, and they're minus one damage. Don't, don't. Yeah, but that's what was. Okay, so. So that becomes a two, so three damage. Three damage. So he could live. Just I don't. know, I know he could. He could live here. It probably will. Based on my rolls, I just need some sixes here. There is a six under there. Yeah, but there are two aren't, so he's tough. Dead. So he's dead. Does he blow? He does not. Take so him three. away. Excellent. I was just going to mark up the hornet as well. Yes. Okay, we're back and we're on the right hand side of the table here. Yes, the tech marine's about to do some damage. So, I bet you're shaking in your boots now, Paul. Well, I am, because the camera's heavy. This is called <laughs> Okay. Flamer first. So D6 shots. Four shots. Okay. Wounding on fives because your toughness six. One. One wound. Onto the Wraith, wraith blades. blades. That's a three, so that is oh, a save. Oh no. The bolter. Save. Nope. One hit. No wound. The plasma cutter. Not overcharging, obviously. Good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, dear, right, aye, that's very good. And now we will go with the squad at, oh, I'll go with the squad at the back that's pretty much dead because it committed suicide in the psychic phase. Yeah, they stupidly tried to cast a power in there. Yes, it's exploded. Imagine. <laughs> Ridiculous. I think they're Eldar. I try to cast a smite, it can actually do more damage to you than the enemy. Brilliant. <laughs> um, so, hit on force because they moved with their silencers. Can see most of them. You see most. I know it's the terrain's getting in the way here. Apologies, so. I set the board up badly. Strength five, so five to wound. Two wounds, no modifier at this point. Okay, he's he's got a three up invulnerable guys because I cast protect on them uh, in my psychic phase. So it's three to save. So it'll be d three plus one damage on that one, but. <laughs> So two damage. Two damage. Sorry, I didn't get that on camera. I rolled a two. Yes, don't roll two sixes. And I have the fortune power on them. Not two fives. Yeah. Yay, so killed one. One dies. And we'll just continue on that squad with okay. the side cannons. Okay. Two, four, six, eight shots. Hitting on fours because they moved. Silence. Why did I put myself through this every week? Silence. Yes. You've got a good dice as well. Strength seven. Yeah, threes. So, th uh, threes, yes. Two wounds. Okay, two threes, please. There's a two and a That's six. Three damage. Okay. So I could kill one and wrestle over some fives. I take one damage. Very good. Storm bolter. Oh, he's not even looking. He's too busy messing about now. I'm sorry, everyone. I was trying to put the wounds on so that no one was three, confused. Three hits. Oh, we never do that till we finish the shooting. Yeah, but three hits, one wound, normal save. Okay, one save. It's it's a four. It's a save. Fantastic. They're still there, everyone. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, we've moved to the left flank, and now the Dire Avengers are about to die. Well, hopefully. 
Who's shooting them? The strike squad in front of them. Yes. Four shots each from the Stormballers. That looks like an absolutely terrible roll to start with. Six, seven misses already, look at that. <laughs> Three's to wound. Enough if you feel them all. Okay. How many is that, sorry? Uh, six. Six. What's my save? Four I can't... plus. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep, Aspect Armour and Dive Avengers four plus. Hmm. I failed four. Sorry, three. Three. Damage? One each. Yeah, fantastic. Killed two. Yeah, great. <laughs> okay, I'll take them away in a minute. Yeah, you better. Well, we've got one squad left. Let's try and get rid of this hornet here. Okay, let's get my dice. So, the, these guys teleporting two, at the four, back. Six, two, four, six. And we're going to shoot this hornet that's yet to do anything in the game. Because <laughs> he did fall back in the previous round. Well, the odds are in your favour here, given the dice. Well, there's a lot of dice coming here. Force to wound. <laughs> Force to hit. Here we go. That is not good. It's not bad either, to be fair, but it's not good. I could have played a uh, minus one to hit for but, lightning but fast, but didn't. I'm not going to. Because I don't care about this hornet. I'd actually prefer that he did die. Five to it. But he's not going to die with rolls like that. Three wounds. Three wounds. Two, 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 two's failed. 2d3 plus one damage. Okay. Two, two, two. Four damage. That's my count on that. Sixes, I get a six, so it's three damage. So he's down to five wounds. We'll get him marked up. Okay, guys, we're back in the charge phase. It's turn three for the green... Uh, turn two for the Green Knight, sorry. It feels like turn three. And you can barely see because we're behind the building here. So come around I'm here. I'm charging the Dire Avengers. He's charging the Dire Avengers. I'd hope there'd be one or two less, but... Interesting. Now, this is an interesting dilemma for me here. Because you're not Space Marines. No. Nope. You, you don't have two wins. I don't, know. And I'm overwatching on fives. Yes. And I've got 12 shots. So I could kill one or two of you. You've got 12 shots. No, I don't eight have shots. 6 shots. 8, eight sorry. Eight, 8 shots. Can't count. Should get 2 hits. So let's let's do four, it. Four yeah, but there's, there's, you know, there's averages and there's me. Yeah, I know exactly. That's what I mean. You <coughs> should get 3, 4 hits. Let's see what you get. So we're going to overwatch here to see if we can kill some of these Grey Knights as they come in. Goodbye, 4 Grey Knights. <laughs> so 5 to hit. Ding dong. Okay. Force to wound. And fours to wound, and there's a six and a four. Yes. So six up on the six. <laughs> and three up on the normal. Oh, yeah, we only oh well. one. I killed one. I'll take that. I'll take it. And do you make the charge, sir? Do I make the charge? You do? I do. It's six, six enough. And all we want to do is that. Very good. And over uh, here, the dreadnought's going into the farce here. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a bigger charge. We'll roll it and see if it matters. Mm, I don't think that's enough. Uh, as well, as dun, dun, dun. You are just under, this, you're just, you're about three mil under the seven. So that's a, that's a successful charge. Mm. And the back here? Uh, yeah, I'm going in here as well. I'll do this one because I'm standing here. Okay. They're going, they can't fail. But they I'll can't fail. Much. But we can laugh if it was double one. Yeah, we could, yeah. We, we could say, oh look, that's a surprise. <laughs> you need a nine here, of yes. course. <laughs> Very good. What can I, nothing I can do about that. Okay, he's moving him in, in oh. on the camera. He's moving on camera now. Yes, yes. Changing it. Yes, we're changing it. That's the last charge. So, we're doing yeah. a charge here. Nope. Not Why not? Because if I can't kill you with two squads of heavy weapons, I'm not charging you with them. Just charge them. Nope. Be fine. Nope. You okay. charge me. <laughs> I will. I know Maybe. you will. Uh, okay, moving on to the fight phase. Uh, yes. We're back. It's turn two, fight phase for the Grey Knights and the Strike Marines. We're going to pulverize the three Dire Avengers. Hopefully. Hitting that, on threes. That's the plan. And it's a terrible start. It is, it is pretty bad. Adam continues his normal routine. Keep, keep, keep your eyes out. E Grey Knights on eBay. Going very cheap. <laughs> so, threes. Yeah, two wounds, minus three. So at mm. least that goes straight through. It does damage. D3 each. 
Okay, do the first one. Are you allocating any to your exarch before we roll this? Uh, do I need to before you roll damage? Well, you yes, have I will. Exarch will go first. Because so he'll survive. He takes two. Here we go. Survive. Nope. Nope. <laughs> and the other boy takes... Oh. <laughs> one. So he will survive. <laughs> Just do a dice. All the way across the room. Very good. So there's one left. Very good. Oh, he fell over. He's, he's not really sure if he he's wants to stay. Playing dead. How are you jumping in? Are you burning those? Am I going to jump in? It's two to jump in, isn't it? Yes. It's two to jump in, everyone. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in here. Uh, and I'm going to use these guys, the Wraith Guard. Right. Uh, and they're going to fight the, what are they called? Strike. Purifiers. The Purifiers. Okay, so... Uh, You're going to play your transhuman? No, I'm going to play the untainted and unbowed. Okay. So it takes me to four command points. So that's my four plus invulnerable again. Very good. So we'll just roll here. So we're hitting on threes. <laughs> Very good. One miss. And we're winding on threes. Threes. What can so I, I have say? to roll them two at a time because it's a three person vulnerable now with the staves. If they die, then. So one's dead. Still there. Still there. So one dies. Oh. Oh well. The staves actually did something for once. Moving uh, on. Moving on. Moving on. Let's get mine done now. Dreadnought. Five attacks into your farcia. Okay. Stompy, stompy time. Stompy, stompy. Hitting on twos. <laughs> uh, wounding on twos. <sighs> Two. Failed one. one. Just one damage. Does he take it? He does. Yes, he does. Where's his wounds gone? Has he still got them? Uh, it's here. No, the dreadnought. Oh, he's not been marked up. He took four. Try cheating. Okay, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, uh, next is going to be the strike squad into the wave serpent. Yep, they've just piled in round the wave serpent a bit. So hitting on threes, wounding on fives with their halberds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to roll some ones and twos. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not anywhere near average, Paul. Let's just say that. What's the minus on those? Minus two. Let's see. Well, six Doesn't is going to save. Really Either way, that's, that's fine. <laughs> The Eldar will survive. Uh, Where sounds, are we going now? Sounds like another one of their anthem songs you're about to start singing there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Presumably we're going here next. We're going here next. We'll okay. three attacks with the sword first. Okay, let's do it. Because although, although we're Nemesis Force Swords, which are superior in every way, we still don't get the plus one strength that everybody else gets from Power Swords. Because you're not Space Marines. No, you are not. Two hits, five to wound. Yes, one at minus three. Okay, let's do it. Here comes the six. It's a five. D3 damage. Here comes the six. No, it's a one. And uh, the eight attacks from... So he's down to four wounds. Eight attacks from the imbeciles. Of course, they do better. Fives. Two more wounds, no modifier. Okay. Two saves coming up. Yes. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay, we're back, and it's my turn to pick, and I'm going to pick the spirits here to fight next. Oh dear. Uh, he's got two attacks, and he's hitting on twos, re rolling the one. And that will be two. He will be winding on twos. And there's a one. I will re-roll the one. Is that a command point away? It is a command point away. Down to one command point, Paul. So you have two saves to make. Just roll two ones for me. That'd be great. Oh, well. That was... Uh... That's not two ones. There wasn't two ones. Who are you picking next? I'm going to go with this squad here. Okay. On to the Farseer or the, or the guard. Um, or both. The stave will go into your Wraith guard. In fact, I'll pile them in just slightly different, so you do that, and I'll put the four here. Because you only get one attack each, it's pathetic. Yeah. Pathetic. So do them first. <laughs> two hits, these to wound, two wounds. Du, du, du. <laughs> and uh, just a car with one hit. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's your turn. 
Okay, in that case, the Farseer is going to fight back. He's going to attack the... What's the strike teamer? Uh, purifiers. The Purifiers. Who purify nothing with their cleansing flame. What did we say it was? Two attacks? Yeah. Two attacks, setting on twos, and wounding on twos. That's two wins. Yep. Sorry guys, poor camera work there. So he's got no AP, has he? So no, he does apart, not. I'll just take out the flamers. Dead and saved. One dead. Mm -hmm. Exciting. And now... Exciting stuff. Russell Crowe. <laughs> Russell Castellan Crowe. <laughs> yes, five attacks base, so there's been no charges of that this turn. We'll bring down the spirits here. He's going to kill the spirits here. No. All hit. Oh dear. Oh dear. Three to injury rolling, thankfully. <laughs> I think so he might have knocked one that was a wound, but is no, it still a wound? So it's two. I've only caused two wounds, but I get two more attacks, therefore. Brilliant. So I get three wounds, so he's still alive because you're never going to fail all three saves. Nope. Failed one. How many damage? One. Oh, throw a dice. Away. And I rolled a six. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Doesn't matter what you do in this game, people. If people just roll dice like absolute morons, you've got no hope at all. Yes, and um, how many wounds is that wave serpent got? Eight. One. So he's got three attacks left because it doesn't matter now, does it? Yeah. So going with the wave serpent, hitting on sixes, zero. Okay. Uh, mm. Going with this guy, presumably he's got one attack. Uh, uh, I'll need to check that actually. I'll come back and check that. I do need to check that one. Yeah. And um, we'll just pile in here with the Dire Avenger and do that very quickly. It's a hit. Yes. It'll be a five to wound us. Yes. And it's yep. not a wound. So let me just check the Hornet stats and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and the Mighty Hornet has two attacks. He's hitting on sixes. <laughs> he is wounded on a four. No, that's, that was that. So that wraps up the turn. Yes, I've got no morales to take. Uh, was, I think your Dire Avenger's got a morale to take. That's about it. Has they got one? Do, do, do. I think that's a Lost four, seven, pass. he's fine, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's the only one. Yes, so we'll be back with a summary in a minute. Okay, turn two for the Grey Knights, how did that go? Terrible. <laughs> uh, really, the power I've got in the middle there between two cleansing flames or cleansing flame and inner fire, uh, the amount of firepower that was shot off with Lazcan, I, I did nothing. Yeah. This, this should have been a totally different picture at the moment. It should have. Uh, but it's not. Uh, and I mean, even here, I did more damage to myself than you. <laughs> you did. Yes. I mean... <laughs> you did, but you've, you've managed to come over and claim this point. Yeah, but this turn I think it'll just clear up enough that it's going to be... If not game over, very tight. We'll very see. tight. I've taken you off everything but one objective. I was hoping to take you off everything. Yeah. But I've not. Uh, so we'll see what you can do. Maybe you'll fluff just as badly as I did. But you got three points of engage. I did. You got ten at the start of the turn for holding two primaries. Yes. And now you've t you've taken this one, so you get three points for direct assault. Yes, but I've done nothing for my scramblers because no. the way it was going, I couldn't afford to give up any firepower anywhere. So. Yep. But you're on nineteen. Let's see how it goes for yes. the Eldar in turn two. Bang. Okay, so we're back with the uh, absolutely cheating, cheesy craft world elder here. <laughs> and for, loaded dice again, Paul. Loaded I thought they dice. were the weaklings. Yeah, well, they are. That's why they're having to cheat. <laughs> but I, I, don't know for, I just remember that Castle and Crow should be re-rolling hits in combat, so yeah. I've only got myself to blame. Yes. Because that would have been a lot more wounds getting thrown in there. Yes. So what have you done this turn? I've paid 2 CP to fall back with this guy. Yes, so you're so zero. I can shoot him. I'm on zero, yes. Uh, I got five points for primary at the start of the turn because I did control the centre still. Yeah, unbelievably. Somehow. Uh, I'm presuming none of those are troops. No. Not one. Uh, okay, and that's 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 pretty much it. Yep. Movement wise, uh, this Wraith Lord has moved around yes. here to try and clear this. He's fallen back, but he's still within three of the points. Yes. He's flown yeah. around to yeah. shoot or charge, maybe. He's walked over there to try and help deal with them. Yes. Um, what else has happened? The Wraith Guard have actually fallen back, but they're still on the point. Yes. They're going to take some shots over here. Yeah, I'm sure you'll manage to one-shot that as well. And uh, the bitter, uh, bitter, eh? Warp Spiders have came at the back here, and they're just going to try and thin this unit out. Yes. 
Um, and these Wraith Blades moved up. They moved a very one inch, here. maybe. I yes. don't know what they moved. And the Wraith Blades came out of this at the start of the movement phase. Yeah, came out they into came the, into the building, they've now moved through it, and they're going to charge in here somewhere. Yes. Just once we see what's happening. And that is it. That is it. I'll move into the psychic phase. And hopefully fluffier or that is it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might be it. Yes, well, we'll see. Because your psychic phase is going to fail. Because I'm just superior. Does, yes. I'm just superior. Yes. So it'll come down to if you can make those well above average rolls in the shooting phase again. Okay. Okay. Cool. Look at him. Yes. Look at him. He just loves winding me up. Okay, so back in the psychic phase for Elder. What are you starting with? I'm going to start with this Farseer. This Farseer. Who's going to cast Executioner. Okay. Which is a warp charge of seven, I believe. There's a two and a three, so that is a fail. He's going to use his... Um, Maths with Paul. His uh, Helm reroll. That is a ten. Oof. Well, I've got plenty of denies, so... Yeah. Do you want to reroll? Because it will be painful for you. Of course it will be, but... Uh... It's not really. It's not really a nice reroll. Let's face it. I'm going to reroll it anyway. Come on, point away. Oh, I saw the five. Nope. So it's D three. D three plus D three. Yeah. <laughs> reroll that rubbish. Yeah, so three. unit's dead. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's only four left, so. Because I would have got to roll another D three. Yeah. It's a great, a great spell. That. Well. Okay. So continue with him. He's going to do a smite. Which does pass on an eight. Eight, so we'll try with crow. Very good. Nine. Very good. That's it. That's that one. Uh, the spirits here, he has protect and jinx, but I think he'll just smite with a ten. <laughs> with a ten! <laughs> so if Paul fluffs you, he's just rolling double figures pretty much with everything. Yep. Yep. So I just need a, a six here, a five and a six to kill him. It is a one. It's a one. I what a have, shame. I don't have any CP, so. No. Nope. Uh, we'll just get those marked up and removed. Yes. And we'll be right back with the shooting phase. Okay, so we're back with the warp spiders here. Going oh. to shoot into these brave, brave knights. Yes. Shoot them in the back. Cowardly elder. They're looking at them going, they're too far apart, so we're going to take them away. <laughs> okay. So, hitting on threes. Okay. That's not bad. I'd, and then I would take that roll. <laughs> Winding on threes. That's a cop. That, that's my roll. It's better. Okay. There's four. Four. I'll take four. Oh, oh there's five, sorry. Five. Can I count? Uh, I have to take your first answer, I'm afraid. No, it's, it's definitely five. That's a game. I have to take your first answer. One dead. Oh, hey. Way. I'll take that off in a minute. Anything else? Yeah, let's just move straight on with this game. Okay. So what we'll do is. I mean, if I kill them, then... Yeah, I'm just going to put everyone in here. Yeah, If you kill them, you're going to a really good shooting phase. Yes, so we'll start with the Bright Lances. Yes. Which both hit. Of course. And One dead. One dead, yeah, okay. And then he's got the Shark and Cannon. Two hits. Ba -ba. One wound. Three up safe. Oh. It's a three. It's a three. Very good. And so that's two dead. I'll take them off in a second. Anything else? Um, do to think. Let me have a little think. Okay. Okay, we're back with the cheating elder again. And what are you trying to do now, Paul? Sorry, I thought the wave serpent's uh, serpent shield was at the end of the phase, but it's at the end of its phase. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. on a two plus, it goes off. Does D three? Yes. Come on, five or six here. He's looking at me like you better not do this, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Wish I had a CP, but many. Couldn't reroll that anyway. Okay. Uh, okay, moving on, we will go with uh, over here. Yes. We've got one, two, three in range of here. Yes. So they will not be rerolling ones because they're too far away. Yep. So well, anyway. Doesn't matter, they'll just hit. And presuming they'll win, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I take it they just go straight through. <laughs> Minus four. Just get on with it. Just. Da -da -da. Ten, ten damage. Just enough. Does it blow? Not that it matters, I don't think. No, it doesn't blow. I rolled up to you. Ba boom Yeah, well done. That might have actually got ba boom a... Yeah, right. Very good. We'll move on. Yes. Pistol. Let's just move on to the next game. Spirits here. Pistol. It hits. Uh, I need a five, presumably. Four. Yeah, five. Six. Ba boom Next pistol. That's going to be that's going to be a hard pistol to get off. No, that's not. Um, where are we going next? 
I think I can shoot in combat. Over. Yes, you can shoot in combat. Four dice set and fours. Let's do that. Oops. Two. Two hits. And you're on threes. That's one. Minus two. Minus two. Nope, one dead. Let's take the closest one the other way. Okay. And oh, we're just over here. That's your last bit of shooting. Yeah, may as well just keep going. Uh, so that's blown up now. Yes, that's gone. <gasps> okay, we'll use this into these guys. Yes. Should see the end of them. Three hits. One, one wound. wound. Yep, one dead. Well, if that doesn't, this is gonna. Yeah. So we'll just do that now. So all his guns in here. Yes. Uh, these are the cannons on his shoulders. No, that's not great. One wound. <laughs> gonna have get, to get roll the, the catapults. Out. Get the flamers out. That's flamers. Is it flamers or what? Yeah, so. I wish it was catapults, but it's I flamers. It was... Yeah, it's okay. Oh, well. Nine. Only nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're doing on what force? Don't know. Three. Three anyway. Oh well. Come on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, nope, nope, I've had nope, enough. Nope, they've had enough, they're going home. Teleport. Yep. <laughs> Again, two wounds would be still there, but yeah. Um, I believe that's now the shooting complete. I think it is, I think that's... Oh, there's this guy over here, but I don't think he's in range. You can't, there's nothing you can shoot him. I don't know. 24. Oh, you're going to shoot over there, are you? It'd be his only option. Is that over one of them? Yeah. Okay. That's his only option, so. So, six shots from the Shuriken Cannons. Uh, one, two miss. And then it'll be three to win, presumably. Yep. Three. three four. Sorry, four. I'll try to pick my model. All safe. Very good. So, end the shooting phase. Let's take those things off the table and we'll be back. And the charge phase. Yes. Okay, so back with the charge phase. Mm -hmm. Where do we start? We'll start over there. Yep. The Wraith Lord has a, a roll to Just make. don't roll a double one. Yeah. It's a five. It's a five. Of course it is. You see it? I don't care. Okay. You can just remove this now, really. Yeah. So he's going in. Yep, he's in. Okay, I'll just leave that dice under there. Um, these guys are going in, but can't fail. Nope. I'll just roll it anyway. Yeah, it's just another casual 10 there, look. I think what I'll probably do is end up in here, though. Yeah, just get more bodies on that. Makes sense. On the point. Get away from Crow, you didn't charge him. You can't be within an can't inch. Can't be within an inch of Crow. Is that alright? Yep. That's fine. And where else we go? You charging uh, here? The wave serpent. Yeah. So you can see. Yeah. Zoom. I mean, it's unlikely. It's going to do anything, but... Um, I don't think they're in range anymore. Unlikely. No, I doubt it. Pulled quite a lot. No, it's a 12. So if I get a 12. Yeah. No. Tried it. Tried hard. I tried. Uh, and over here are they. They're charging in there. Ray Fletcher going in. Well, roll it. I'm overwatching. Oh, okay. that, look at that. I mean, that's I mean, just been this. They make it, everyone. Yes, they make it, but I'm overwatching. So, and I'll be playing a stratagem to overwatch on a 4 plus. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so back in the Overwatch, and the side cannons here are overwatching with preternatural senses. So we're hitting on four pluses just like the shooting phase. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Dun dun dun! dun, dun, dun. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. Sorry, I'll zoom out of there, but there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Two. Can I just say to everyone that last week Adam used the yellow dice and cried, and now he's using the blue dice. Funny how they're both your sets of dice, though, that I'm not allowed they're, to use. They are our sets of Paul, dice. Yes, they are ours, but Paul insists that these are the dice we must use. They still don't show up on camera, by the way. Oh, okay, I'll let you. You won't let me use my dice. We're getting our own dice soon. You'll see yes. different dice soon. So, uh, at this point, they are strength seven at least, so three's to wound. That's not so bad. And two, four, six, seven wounds. I can do that. They have three damage each. Come on, just, just die. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Oh look, my god. Look, what, what do I have to do? I am going to have to... Superior tactics, that's so all I'm going to say. three Superior. damage. Did, that, did one get through actually, did it? Yeah, it depends, is it AP? Uh, yes. Then yes, I rolled a three. Oh, that's all right, 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 okay. So six is to save the two wounded one. Dun, dun. No, he dies. No, he dies. They should, yeah. should have been dead. Stormbolter. Yes, moving on then. Right, they're in as well. So we'll be back in the combat phase. 
Okay, so now starting with these ghost warriors, and they truly should be ghosts. Uh, but <laughs> they are still there, so... Let's do it. Yes, so four attacks hit on fours. Mm -hmm. Silence. Silence befell the room. Threes. Yes. Hmm? Slightly above average, just for <laughs> Oh, we saved, saved one, we saved one. Only, saved one. Only two die horribly in a gory mess. And now on with this Wraith Lord. Yes. So four attacks, hit on threes with his sword. Very good. And presume, oh, okay. He's definitely killing, killing on twos, I think. Uh, you talked about strength eight, your strength nine, yeah, so. Is it minus four or nothing? Yeah, it's nasty. Do you want to check quickly? I'll take one off. Minus four. four I'm sure. Yes. So where are you? Oh, what's that jumping? No, I can't jump in. I've not got enough command points. So, Wraith uh, Blade time. But it'll have to be the Wraith Blades. Do they get plus one for the swords? Yes. Okay. And plus one when they charge. Nine. Ten. <laughs> so, so I may have to revisit that other combat then. I'll we'll do two more attacks in that other <laughs> combat. Funny how I remember your rules better than you and you still... You don't, don't, don't need to know the rules in this game, you just need to roll dice well. That's what we're figuring this out here. Don't yeah. need to don't need to know anything. Just roll the dice. Well, are you sure they get plus one on the charge? Yes, they do. They do. Okay, well, roll down here because there's quite a lot of terrain. Uh, so hit on threes, and I uh, will be rerolling because the spirits here are still there. Somehow. Okay. Four twos. Ending on threes. Ending on threes. Okay, two, four, six, seven. Mm, they could be dead. So, two, four, six, seven, six up saves. Oh, there's one. Yeah, well done, they're gone. Cool. Okay. While we're here, we'll just do the... Two more attacks for the... Two more yeah. attacks for the charging Wraith Blades. One. One. And one. one. Is it minus three on that or minus... Minus... Sometimes actions are two, sometimes... Are... Minus says a three. Yeah, because they're elder, they just get extra for the sake of it. Okay. Cool. I guess I need to use the wave you need serpent. To use your wave serpent. So three attacks, hitting on three, uh, sixes, sorry. So zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all the charges. That's all the charges. I get to fight back. You do. So let's fight back here. Let's try and bring that. Hornet. Hornet down, that's the one. The Wounded Hornet. So I've been charged, so I still get extra attacks here. Cool. Thank you. So three attacks from the Justicar. Two hits, wow. And one wound. It's, there's a six there. There's a six, yeah. So minus three. Okay, you need a six. Just when I bounce them off the building, it just seems to... <laughs> you stick that dice somewhere that the six is going to shine, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, sorry. And four attacks from the normal guys. Don't know why I bother. That's just where I say I'm not. I see. No, no wins. Oops. Okay. And. Is it me to go next then? Oh, I, I forgot about that. Did I? Ah, yep. On you go. See, I've, lo I've lost that much interest. I even forgot to fight in here. So first. they're dead, away. They're, they're dead, there. yep. They're not there. So, should have fought with Crow, but I didn't. So these guys are dead. That's how disheartened I am. Just leave them! Just, I'm just so I'm not confused here. How can you be confused? They're dead. Because I'm confused. Well, we'll go the spirits here next time. Yep. You shouldn't be there. Still. Two attacks. Real on once for himself. Two hits. Two's to wound. Two saves, please. Two saves. Yep. Right, in that case, the Dreadnought will hit your first here before I forget to do this. Nobody else that's going to get... No. So Dreadnought. Four attacks. Dreadnought. Two. And two. Three wounds on the first here. Just fill them all, please. Oh, he does as well. Yay! Damage, please. One. One each. No sixes and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and he will live on two wounds. Absolute. Somehow. What is going on here? That is all three power. That's rubbish. That is all three. Absolute rubbish. It's statistically better to roll sixes than ones. No, it's not. <laughs> right, two attacks here from the, the heavy weapon first. One hit. Yay. And it does wound. Normal uh, save. Normal save. It's a three. It's a five. Of course. And three attacks from the Justicar. One hit, which does wound at minus three. But it's your invulnerable. Which is a four. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, 
Who's not fought yet? Uh, the two over there. Then I've got Crow to go at the end. They've, they've fought because I fought with him. I've, yeah, I've, I've got the Hornet to Oh, attack, you do the Hornet, but yeah. yeah. just keep going. Just do the Hornet, just do it, and that's you done. What was it? One attack, maybe? And you're first here, I suppose. I think it was two attacks, actually. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but they both missed. Oh. Just want to do your first here, because I've went about... about it's, it's, think... not, it's not going to matter, so I'll just finish mine. Two hits on, obviously, the Dreadnought. Two one, wins one on. Wind. One wound. That's no, it. Wounds on twos. Even vehicles. That's so. not poison, is it? No. Uh, was that two wins? Two. One gets through, which... Oh, it's two damage, isn't it? Or is it no, it's D3. D3, alright. Hold one. There's two, though. Two. Takes two more wounds, so he's down to two. Cool. Farsi. Dreadnought's getting ripped apart by a Farsi in combat. There we go. Makes sense. And I've got two strike squad guys over there, so that'll be three, five attacks. Putting on threes. <laughs> Come yes. on, fives. There's one six. Two. Here. Two. Two at minus three. Can you see over here? Damage. D3. Three. Okay, six up. Feeling the pain. Nah, he takes three. No, he takes three more wins. Woo! Wow. Right, Castle and Crow. Let's try and remember on this thing. Twos! Ah, the time I remember he can reroll hits, he doesn't need to. Mm. Uh, so, wounding on threes. Rerolling. Five wounds, so I get five more attacks. A bit late in the game to start bringing your your A game. Reroll that one. So, that's five hits. And that will be a reroll. So, that's ten wounds. Onto the first Onto year. your spirits here. Yeah, sorry, the spirits here. How many? Ten. Ten. He's probably going to die, guys. Well, they should have died last time. Here's seven. Four get through there. And three more. Five get through. Okay. So you just need to not roll four six pluses here. <laughs> did my he's, best. He's, tr he's tried hard. I did my best. <laughs> this is absolutely woeful. Right, get him off the table. Okay. We'll remove the casualties, shall we? Yes. Okay, so we'll just quickly do the morales, and there's this one over here. We lost three. Passed. And this one here, lost three as well. Passed. Both on a two. Number two's coming back to visit again. Number two. So, at least this time it's beneficial. Yes. And so, was that a fluff turn, Paul? No. No, it certainly wasn't. It was in some areas, but no, it was not. No, it was not. Uh, Points-wise... I got five at the start for controlling one primary. Yes. I got engaged on all front because I've been in four corners. Yes. I got grind them down because I killed more. Yes. And I got direct assault again because I still control the middle. Yeah. So we're both on 19. Well, and I'm... Well, I'll score some points here, but I think after this turn, it's going to be a case of I've just got, not got any figures left. So we'll go into my turn, see what happens, and we'll see about how the game goes. And we're back. It's turn three for the Grey Knights. And we're feeling optimistic. Well, no, we're not. Okay. There's a chance. There's a chance. It requires everything going perfectly. Shall we, um, how many CP have you got left to start? I've got two to start the turn. And what did you score? You scored 15 scored on the 15, thing. scored 15, which is the only saving grace here at the you moment. Controlled, you controlled three. Yes. Which is impressive. Yes. Because you controlled... That one. This one here, the tank's on. I control this one because of the troops over the... Yep. And I did have more here than you and your one. That's correct. So, yes. The game is on. The game is on, but with no figures left, the game will soon be off. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back in the psychic phase. Yes. Okay, we're back in turn three psychic phase for the Grey Knights. Yes. Let's get a command point back. With the Tech Marine. Yes. Not like that, you're not. There's no point spending a command point to get a command point back, so we'll just leave it at that. There is and there isn't. No, there is and there isn't, so. <laughs> Next, we're going to go with... <laughs> well, you could re-roll it and get the, you know, perils and... Yeah, that yeah, would be, be amazing. So we'll go with Gate of Infinity now on this strike squad here. I don't actually know. We'll be back in two minutes. I forgot to check. Well, that is a five it's plus a, one, so it's a, a six. It's a six, but... Oh, we'll just right check here. on camera. It's right here. It is a six. So it's a pass. What does it do? That's my redeploy. Oh, that's that's not going to happen. <laughs> right, okay, Farseer, this is your chance. Yep. And you did it. 
Very good. Fantastic. Okay. Do you know what you're doing next? No. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, but, but no. No, but, but yeah. No, but yeah. Um, I'm going to put Astral Aim onto these just in case they need it. Okay, did they fall back? No, those two did. They're two separate squads. Okay. There are two in the tree. <laughs> Six, it's cast. It's cast. <laughs> it's a uh, chance of, just let me double. Uh, yeah, it's five for Astral Aim, so. Do -do -do -do. You can't see, but there's a five and a four. Yeah, brilliant. Do -do -do. That's my cast. Uh, the nice done, though. We're going to go with Castle and Crow. Yeah, Russell Crow. He's going to put Inner Fire. And I'm still in combat with the Wraith Blades here. Nine. Do -do -do. Pain. Right, so we'll be back in a minute. I just need to gather my dice for that. Okay. Okay, we're back. He cast it on a ten. What does it do? Kill me. What does it do? On ones, I cause mortal wounds to myself. Okay. Oh, <laughs> on threes, it's mortal wounds to you. He's got two wounds to go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That's a Scottish word, everyone. Deed. He's dead. And you've lost... Well, you've taken six. You get to make your saves. Okay. Six saves. Let's try and get six dice. Do, I just need do, to do. check something. Who else should do that? So I need sixes. And I take five. So five go through. Yes. So they're mortal wounds, aren't they? Yes. So that kills that one, kills another one, and then one's on two. Yes. Okay, let me just get that marked up, then you can cast... Oh, no, he can't no, cast. No, I can't cast. Because he's dead. I didn't realise he could cast two, or I would have done the purge, the, purify, the fire, purifying flame, whatever, first. But my, my brain's given up with the dice roll, and I'm not thinking anymore, so... Okay. Yeah. Uh, apologies, guys. I thought he was targeting the Wraith guard. It was actually the Wraith blade, so we took two wounds on one, and one died. Anyway, yes. moving on. Yes. Let's see what else I can kill for myself now. <laughs> Strender's going to smite. It's these untrained grey knights, you know? Yes. So it goes off, yes. One mortal wound into your first year. Okay, and he will ignore it. No, no, two, he won't. Nope. Okay, so he takes one. He's on one wound remaining. Yeah. We'll change that in a second. Do you know what and, you're doing next? Uh, <laughs> no, that's it. That's, Are you sure? That's it. And we're back, and Adam's looking around trying to figure out what's going to happen now. <laughs> we're in the shooting phase. It's turn three, grey knights. Yes. It's going badly. Two silencers into these absolute wazics that won't go away. So these two guys at the back who weren't in the combat, the two guys at the front ran away. Yes. Like cowards. And I have two command points. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's he going to do? At this point, I'm going to put... I'm going to put the special ammo onto them. Psychic Onslaught. Okay. Is it? I don't know. Uh... You tell me. No, no, I'm not. No, nope, not good anything. Just five steel. I'm just going to leave it. Just the standard silencers, is yes, it? Yes, because you've got your four shield. Anyway. So six shot, uh, two off shots, hitting on threes. I didn't move that unit. That's a pretty good roll for you. That's a very good roll for me. Here we go, five steel. Let's try and get at least two. Two! Wow! Yeah! Two. Minus? Two. No, of course not. Okay, I feel one. That's DT plus one damage. Okay. So one there, two damage, ignoring it on sixes, two ones, yeah, one is on one. Yeah, I'm going to shoot you with the tech marine now. Okay. He's lining up for a charge on that wave serpent, but we'll shoot back away here. Okay. So the flamer, two shots. Very good. Which gets a wound. Okay. Ooh. And takes it. And it's under the trees, and it's a one. Yeah, so it one kills, kills one. So we'll kill this one. The yeah, bolter. Two hits. Apologies, I'm no wrong. Missed that roll. Oh, That's sorry, fine. sorry. I didn't realize you were away. The pistol's out of range, so that is that for the shooting. We've got the nice cannon. Yeah, he's alive. He's alive. There's not much I can do about him. That's the only thing you can shoot. No, I can't. I can well, shoot you. Could you. Shoot, you could you shoot, the, shoot your hornet. You could shoot. Oh, no, you can, yes. Or oh, should I shoot the. I don't know. Wraith Lord, let's go for it. Let's be brave. Okay. That's 10 wounds. Oh. Hornet. 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 Two hits. One wound, see? See, I knew. Minus. Three. So we know what you're going to do. No? No. Five wounds. Oh dear. I don't think I can do five. You only do two. I know that. Oh, well, it's caught! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Off the building, that's that's worked in the past. Oh, Does he blow? I saw it. If he blows, it might be good. 
It does not. That's him away at least. Yes. It's a small something. Okay, let me get that removed. Okay, and this dreadnought is going <laughs> to shoot the Farseer in the face. Well, I'm going to get silly here. Okay. I'm going to frag the missile of the Farseer. Yeah. And twin Laz Cannon the Wraith Blades if the Farseer dies. All right, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Which means I'm going to kill nothing. Right. You're gambling here. You're gambling. Yes. Frag missile. Four. Hitting on twos. Three hits. Wounding on threes. One. <laughs> Not re rolling it. I don't care if the last cannons don't fire. That's fine. It's a C! Yeah, of course it is. Um, who's left? These guys, they fell no, back. No, they withdrew. That's, that's a shooting. It's game over, but let's see what we can do. Okay. Crow Dime is the final nail in the coffin. Do you just want to do your charge on camera then? Yeah, let's go for it. It's only one here. It's a big charge. It's not. Not with a four. Is that big enough? Do you have a reroll? Let's go for it. We need to try. I see a one. So. I see a. I see a one. <coughs> so you want to just wrap up your points while we're on camera? Well, I mean, we would fight, but it wouldn't make any. Uh, Do you want to continue? Is my question. Really? You're going to get. Um, you're not going to. Well, you're not going to charge. You're going to get. Um, three get a few for control on that. For that. I'll get two points for engage. Yes. Didn't kill a unit. Again, you'll get. So it's like your turn, you're going to get 10 points, plus you're going to wrap everything up. Yes. You've got three turns to yes, it didn't... score all the points you want. <laughs> yeah. I've just. Everything's failed everywhere. So. Yes. Can we just. Everyone, the, the Wave Serpent gets uh, D3 attacks. Well, <laughs> do you know I what? could kill the wave serpent. Well, you could. Do you want to just do that combat? Well, you go first. That's the first fight you'd pick. All oh, right. Okay. Nobody else is a threat to you. So I'd get D three attacks. I'd get two, but it hits on sixes. That's this is the only. Yeah, I got one hit. And <laughs> got one wound, but it wouldn't have mattered. I just wanted to see. I saved it. I just wanted to see if that would have but done anything. But let's just get this right here. My Justica. Yes. And his assistant of the highly trained uh, uber elite marines. Yes. They get the same attacks as an intercessor or sergeant. Yes. <laughs> well, they're, they're not space marines. Let's face it. Two sixes and a one. No. Yeah. No. E hop. Nothing. No. Nah. So you want to call it now? Yes. We're Would you like it. to concede? I wanted to call it two turns ago. But. Okay. <laughs> yes, because next turn, this is what would happen. Dead. And if they really needed to, he would have shot them first. And that would they would have just decimated yeah. the... The dreadnought. Yep. The dreadnought. And I'd just be stuck in that little corner. They'd jump in the rhino and get away. Yeah, and I mean, over there. The razor back even. Yep. They, I forgot that the, the guys were even there. They would just move over. Shoot. They take. would fall back and they would shoot them to death. Yep. And the game would be won. Easily. Okay, let's, uh, let's move to the wrap up. Hello. <laughs> The Eldar prevailed. The weaklings prevailed. They did, yes. And the uh, so-called train psychers just one by one annihilate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient ones. We were so well protected against the warp trained. We that no end of effort spent on training us yet still miscast as easily as well. Sorry, perils as easily as anybody else in the game. In fact, farseers are better. Even all those slain is hunting them. So, games watch. Oh, come on. Grey Knights really need something done quick because they are, I mean, they are close to unplayable. Yep. They don't get the big bubble reroll ones you can get because your Grand Masters are harder to get built in while still Space Marine Captain is a bit more flexible. You know, I mean, you're stuck with your, your basic build on a, a Grand Master. You can't stay, you, you can't afford that big blob of Grey Knights moving forward. Just not got the wounds. You've not got the attacks. You're not getting the strength bonuses from your weapons that are everywhere else. It's one or even two of the things you might hand. It's just everything. Just they're so far off a of marine at the moment. <laughs> and marines have access to more spells. And they have two wounds. And they have that's two, the most important thing. They have two wounds. The two wounds would just help. I mean, that that was a quick fix they could have put in. Yeah. Because you can't even say the points would change drastically because marines' points didn't change drastically with the, the two wind introduction. Yep. Um, I'm still 
Primaris Grunettes. I'd buy them. Don't care. People don't like Primaris. I like them. Uh, I would take Primaris Grunettes any day of the week. Yeah. Uh, this was a prime example of why to take a close combat weapon on your dreadnought. Yes. That I always want to do, but I never do. Yes. Because I know you always think he sits, but he never does anything when he sits at the back with his weapons. One or two always miss. You make a save on the other one. Then it's d6 yeah. damage, or it's a two. It, yeah. They just don't. But on the other hand, I don't like Redemptors. Mm -hmm. I know everybody's gone and use the Redemptors in the Marines. It's more anti infantry firepower that I can get anywhere else that I don't need to put on this one big. Yes. To me, if you're going to have a heavy weapons platform, put some heavy weapons on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they could be carrying quad las cannons with the power plants they've got. Get, get something on there. Yeah, but Grey Knights, comment below, what do you think of them? Honestly. Honestly. Yes. Because they're bad. <laughs> Just a hint, they're bad. <laughs> I thought that this Elder list was going to struggle, and I thought you had a lot of nasty looking stuff, but when I realised there were one in each, I thought you didn't have a lot. And, so. I mean, even with the purgation squads, fine, you're getting a lot of attacks, but there's no AP, they're low strength. I mean, we're making your saves. Yeah, it was, to be fair. And I mean, you're twice, <laughs> twice at your Wraith Guard fire, they just deleted, which is unusual. Yeah, the Wraith Guard, the Wraith Guards were great. They were. Um, I, wrote, I think, what did I roll? 17 damage or something on the Storm? Then 10 straight onto the razor back, yeah. So. Boom, boom. It's not, it's one of those, whenever games go one way or another with dice rolls, it's... Yeah. But, the Grey Knights don't help themselves. No. And the psychics aren't good enough. And the whole... I know they don't want to let you go mad with the psychic powers, because mm -hmm. especially in the 8th edition, the smite yeah. spam was just horrendous. But at the moment, when you're not getting your your no smite penalty, if you like, so you're, you're having to cast harder every time, and you're only doing one, one damage... Fine, you can go to two with the right, but a good opponent keeps their dispels <laughs> back to say you're not getting to change the warp. Yes. That's where they keep... People learn. You only play Green Knights once or twice and you learn warp shaping's not happening. Let's just roll for this smite. Yeah. One damage or D3 to myself. Oh, hmm. I just give up rolling them after that. I know you did. You did. You actually did. Because too many games trying to do one smite damage here or there, I've lost more of my troops. And again, D3's not bad if you've got two wounds each. True. But when you're running, <laughs> over half your squad goes, it, it just feels too painful for, for what they can do. I've, I love the Grey Knights. I've, I really hope they do something. But they're not rushing. It's the same as the Thousand Suns. I mean, you play them. Yeah. I love the Thousand Suns. Yep. They were one of my first Chaos Armies I ever did. I just want them to be better. They will. I would happily pay a lot more points per figure, but make me resilient, make me harder hitting. Uh, they will get better. Give me half the number of figures Marines have got that make them absolute legends. And I'll be happy with that. Be happy. I'm sure both the Thousand Suns and the Grey Knights will get better. I'm pretty sure they will. Just sooner rather than later. <laughs> but, you know, it's like everything just now. Anything that's not got a new codex that comes up against something that was okay before or has a new codex just gets just gets beaten easily. So. Yeah, you just look at the craft world compared to the Drakari now. That'll be interesting. That will be interesting. Mm -hmm. Ten witches put it forty. <laughs> yeah, but Gene Sealers can do the same. <laughs> <laughs> I just They're effectively Gene Stealers now. But you can't escape them. You won't understand. Well they're carrying a lot better weapon Yeah. Well. It just absolutely madness and all the big minus to leaderships and then you've got a 50-50 chance of failing your combat attrition test mm. absolutely terrible I'm, we're going to have them on the channel soon I hope it's not me that's playing them are you going to play that? I don't know <laughs> I don't want to face them I don't, I'll, I'll my try. dice rolling at the moment my dice rolling for what three games now I think maybe two it's been abysmal and if I go against Dark Elder with those dice you might get half a turn of a game. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and Tam will just start gloating again. But yeah, it was still an enjoyable game. 
funny moment, you get frustrated when the dice, you never get overly bothered because if you're playing Grey, Grey Knights, you can't expect to win. <laughs> uh, that's sad to say when you're playing Craftworld. <laughs> Because Craftworld are not in a good position either. And an unoptimised Craftworld, which so, performed well. Yeah, I mean, and let's not get wrong here. A power armoured Grey Knight, at least with the Terminators, you're getting your two wounds, yeah, your yeah, two plus save. Yeah, yeah. They are much more resilient. And a lot of the new stratagems were based to making the Terminators better. Yeah, okay. Real ones. We're going to need to put the Terminators out next time. Well, I'll have them out there. I'll have them next I time. I know. Yeah. Uh, this is just a confirmation that the power armour is lacking <laughs> so uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time hopefully I'm going to roll some better dice because my tactical superiority over Paul is just um, unimaginably superior so his luck can't last forever okay that's all we're saying his luck <laughs> can't last forever yep just the last three or four games <clears throat> no two. two I beat you before that I guess yeah but that was the one before Turnets. I had a break in there this game yeah. <laughs> what did I win? <laughs> the first game, which was against um, Thousand Suns. Grey Knights, Thousand Suns. I made some tactical errors in there, which everyone pointed out in the no, comments. No, I won the guards against your Elder when they came out. Yeah, that, that was uh, unfortunate. That was a bad roll. That, was, that was really bad rolling for me, that game. Jeez. Very bad. Like, stupidly bad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Any comments about what you want to see? We've not really seen much in the way of suggestions. And we, we're still got the painting problem at the moment. We're trying to get everything done. Um, yeah, I tried to order white paint from like six different sites the other day and every single brand of white was sold out. We tried TT Combat paint. They've got a new range I've ordered the yellow. So it's like, oh, okay. they're in stock. So, um, it's, not, it's not an advertisement, by the way. <laughs> Just a little hint for people, it's a new range out, and I'm going to try them. So, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, and please hit the like and subscribe button, as I say. Yep. Paul, say goodbye. 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 <laughs>